Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Rob in Real Time. I'm Rob. I'm your host. And also, uh, I'd like to give you a small update that's been going on with me. Um, the year is ending. It's uh, now, I believe, December 27th. So, uh, I'd like to miss you all. A Merry Christmas, a belated Christmas, and, um, and a happy holidays. Um, and I hope you guys have a happy new year, too. I'm going to try to rush this out and get this out before the new year. So, uh, as if all things go well, you should see this post before New Year's Day, which is a goal I'm going to try to get this done. Uh, now, let's talk about my loophole run. Um, this December, um, what I did was able to do is I was able to pick up um, some some games from a new store um, found in, um, in like 20 minutes away from where I live in the Lakewood area. And it's called a book off, and they actually sell all kinds of used and take trade ins for like all kinds of stuff, not just video games, but like books, electronics, all kinds of stuff. You go in there, there's a huge selection of CDs and uh, books and graphic novels. First off, I let me turn this lamp off because the glare is really bad. I just tested it out, it's pretty bad. But in order for you guys to read the video, read the, the game I picked up, and the camera can pick it up, I picked up a Beta Raider. It's a $5 game right now for the PSP. It's an old game, but it has like, uh, it's, it's produced by Ice-T and Rockstar. And uh, yeah, man, I picked this up because, you know, I remember they were, uh, I was watching the reality TV and uh, Coco and Ice-T or something, and they had a bulldog. I remember that much. And, uh, you know, his wife is hot, but also um, it's just, a, it's like a strange kind of sample mixing thing that's fun to just play and tinker with i don't think it's a real serious recording uh thing i think you need like uh, something better than like garage band if you're interested in uh recording music i have this game here it's pretty the case is in pretty beat up condition i gotta get a new blu-ray box uh storm rise for five bucks um by sega um and it's supposed to be a real-time strategy game and it used this kind of whip feature um, to select units and send them out, sort of like uh, Halo Wars, um, real-time strategy, um, and you know, you send out armies, kind of like StarCraft. Another one, oh man, these I gotta get new Blu-ray boxes because these stickers are just fucking up the boxes. Uh, this one I picked up because I had this game already, Rainbow Six Vegas. My friend gave it away, so he asked me, hey, if you see the game, pick it up again. So I picked it up because it was five bucks. Rainbow Six Vegas 2 is a great shooter. We were just playing that recently, or just earlier tonight. But yeah, he had he gave it away to some hot girl, and then, you know, it's like, okay, now we're giving away games, okay? <laughs> you know, this guy. Um, anyway, another one is, uh... Oh, okay, this one I found at another store called uh, Bioshock infinite you probably heard it It had a reversible cover got this brand new for 10 bucks see and this one didn't have no damage to the box so I was happy to get that for such a good price and, the, and this is the actual you know, the jacket here see so and it has a reversible so you can reverse it and make it look like an old novel let's put that over here okay and then another game I picked up for uh, 12 bucks is Bayonetta. Uh, Bayonetta is a really great game from Sega. Bayonetta just got announced for um, Super Smash Brothers Brawl recently. That's awesome. So that's a cool find for me. I never got a chance to play this game. I'm a little behind the times, guys, but you know, hey, I, I wait till I can afford games. I can't buy all these games brand new. But I, by sitting out and wait, I kind of do see what games are hot, but at the same time, it makes it harder to find. So it's a downside waiting to get that year between games. Another game I found, Valkyria Chronicle, Chronicles. Oh, so sorry. Valkyria Chronicles. And let me had to, I was thinking Valkyrie Chronicles, but it's Valkyria, <laughs> Valkyria by Sega. This is a watercolor kind of art style uh, tactical strategy game. Um, turn base um, really well made and uh, I'm kind of excited to try that game so 
that's cool this is another game I found, um, uh, Lollipop Chainsaw. I've been wanting to play this game, but I couldn't find it at a reasonable price. I got this for 13 So this is a pretty good find for 13 bucks. You know, uh, you know, it's a, kind of like a silly game. The girl, I heard that cheerleader has her boyfriend's severed head attached to her belt or something. So she, as she's going around killing zombies in her high school. So it's kind of like one of them B-rated kind of movies. You know, and that's that's pretty cool. Also, the last one, and this is probably the most expensive I, I paid. The most I paid, this is like I paid like 45 bucks for. But it's a J Japanese import, and uh, it's a region free game. And uh, I've been trying to learn this game, but it's pretty hard because it's a um, it's a um, it has all their directions in Japanese, so. You know, good luck to me trying to read the direction book. It's kind of like uh, all the directions are in Japanese. So, yeah. <laughs> good luck with that, huh? Yeah. Anyway, so I got all these Japanese directions. I And I don't know how to read Japanese. Um, and this is a great Bandai. It's from Bandai. And uh, it's Robotech Macross 30. And it's like a, 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 a Macross game. It's called Macross Frontier, I believe, based on that new cartoon series in Japan. Um, so, though that's my loot haul, and um, I got I got a pretty good find this um, pretty good finds this December. Um, those are some of the, a couple of those games. To be honest, I had them in my collection already, but I kind of been wanting to show it to you guys because those are I kind of like showing you guys my uh my uh strange taste in games like i don't have your everybody's taste you know and everybody collects different things you know and everybody collects what they want so that you know to them their own to their own they all have more power to them you know and that's good uh, me i like collecting things that i'm interested about no one can fault me upon that i only collect what i like and um that's what i, I as a collector that's what i do so, um, yeah, so that was my loot run. Um, future projects, and right now I'm working on uh, a tutorial on how to fix uh, an old electronic device, and right now I'm working on that. So hopefully that's coming along soon, and I'll have that ready for you maybe maybe by in, like early next year. Um, I'll make that as a goal to get that done. Um, and also, hopefully, I want I want to try to get, um, before my winter break's done, also maybe get like a... Um, an opening and an ending bumpers for every show so that way I have an actual uniform look to my show and I gotta work on these previews from YouTube I'm trying to figure this stuff out guys because I'm a new youtuber um, so yeah you know to get this channel po more polished you know I gotta you know figure out these little tricks and stuff so um, so, um, I'd like to wish you all a happy holidays again, and also a happy new year, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, I think that's where, uh, and, uh, hopefully I'll come, I'll, I'll have a new episode, this episode posted up, and a new episode in the beginning of the year, in January, so, uh, I wish you all guys the best, and take care, okay?